to my week 39 bump video, bump date. Um, I am officially, or I guess I should say baby is officially full term now. Um, and he could come literally at any day, which is so, it makes me so anxious not knowing like when he's going to come. Um, but I'm excited to meet him. I'm excited to see what he looks like. This week, baby is the size of a mini watermelon. Um, so he's huge and I feel huge. So that makes sense. Um, baby is basically done in the womb. Um, his eyes are the color that they're going to be, which is probably a bluish grayish color. And then sometime before he turns one, they'll be like their permanent color. Um, his lungs are fully developed now. He's totally ready for the outside world. He's just ready. Uh, there's really not much that my apps are telling me anymore just because everything is basically developed by now. I haven't had too many new symptoms this week. Um, I'm still getting heartburn like crazy, um, which I'm wondering if that means baby hasn't like dropped yet because I'm still having a ton of heartburn um, especially at night when I'm laying down and I feel like in the past week it's just vamped up more um, every time that I get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom I have to take Tums because my heartburn gets really bad I've never had that happen before and I constantly need tums if I'm just sitting around as well. I just get heartburn a lot easier now. I have been feeling a little nauseous here and there, um, but then again, I think of food and then I'm like really hungry. So it's kind of weird feeling like nauseous, but also hungry. So I'm not sure if the nausea is like a clue, like I'm gonna go into labor soon, or if it's just baby's huge and my stomach just doesn't know how to deal with itself. I don't know, but I have been experiencing that. My fingers and feet are getting a little bit swollen. Um, it's a little tough to get my ring off my finger, but I still have it on. I can still take it off. Um, here and there um, and my ankles do look a little bit swollen but I'm still fitting into my shoes and I haven't noticed that much of a change the other day I was just feeling uh, towards the end of this 39 weeks I've just started feeling just uncomfortable like my belly just feels like it's stretching my belly just feels huge like it just can't get any bigger than what it is right now and so it's like uncomfortable to sit up I constantly need to like lay back um, it's super hard for me to sleep at night now. I have not been getting good sleep. Um, about every other hour I wake up because I need to flip to my other side um, and my hips will hurt, my back will hurt, um, my neck will hurt. So I think that's how I know I am getting towards the end here um, just because I am just overall starting to feel very uncomfortable. I still feel pretty good. Um, I don't have like any headaches or anything, um, a little bit of nausea here and there, but I'm still hungry and I'm still able to eat, um, but just uncomfortable. I just feel huge and I'm starting to get to that point with my due date fast approaching, just like I am ready to get this baby out. I'm ready to not be pregnant anymore. Um, I'm scared and terrified of labor. Um, but I am ready to have baby here. I'm still dealing with a lot of like indigestion, um, burping a lot, which adds to the heartburn. Baby has definitely decreased his activity a ton more lately. Um, I don't feel him as often. I still feel him and I still feel him get hiccups every now and then, but it is definitely way less movement than what I've ever felt. Um, so I think that's just him kind of getting into position and getting ready to come out. My belly has been um, kind of itchy lately, um, and I don't know if it's just been like, because it's like expanding so much or what, but I've noticed like I've had wanted to like itch my belly a ton, um, which I have to like try to refrain myself from doing that because I'll like create like scratches all over myself. Um, I've been feeling really emotional lately, um, just crying out of nowhere for random things or, um, 
freaking out about labor or just freaking out about like how my life is about to change with this baby coming and we can't just like get up and go somewhere like we have to think about baby and our whole routine and our whole life is going to revolve around this baby so that's been a little like overwhelming for me to think about and deal with Anthony has been really sweet lately he's been you know kissing my belly all the time talking to baby um, he's been my rock he's been um, you know keeping me calm when I'm feeling anxious or emotional um, he is gonna take two weeks off when the baby comes um, and so he is ready for baby to get here I don't know how much of a break it's going to be when he takes off work um, but he is excited to be able to bond with baby and help me out with baby a little bit. My nose is still really stuffy and runny. Um, I'm kind of ready for that part to be over. I still feel like I have shortness of breath. Like if I'm talking for a long time, I feel like I have to like take a lot of pauses and take a lot of breaths because I can't like um, continue talking. So that's been kind of funny to deal with. My weight continues to stay at right around 150 pounds. I'm not really gaining anymore, not really losing any, so I think it's gonna stay right around there. So um, like, the, like every week recently, I had my next doctor's appointment. At this appointment, I was nervous again for my blood pressure. If you saw my last video, you saw that they were thinking of possibly having to induce me at 39 weeks. Um, because my blood pressure had been high, but at my last appointment, I got my blood pressure under control and it was all great. So I tried to recreate my steps again uh, for this appointment. So like I didn't eat beforehand. Um, I got to my appointment like 15 minutes early. I sat down, had both feet on the floor, distracted myself with games on my phone um, and just kind of tried to keep that calm mindset. Um, so I went to my doctor's appointment, they took my weight, and they took my blood pressure, and my blood pressure this time was the lowest it has ever been. Um, I think it was like 112 over 70 or something like that. So obviously I do not have preeclampsia, which I knew. Um, I just get myself worked up, I guess. Um, so I was so, so happy about that. So I went in to my room and my doctor was like, oh my gosh, your blood pressure is awesome. And I was like, yeah, I told you I don't have preeclampsia. I just freaked myself out. And so she was happy to see that. She just kind of felt around my belly a little bit and basically told me she thinks he's gonna be a small baby she's like I think he's right around seven pounds um, maybe seven five seven four or maybe just seven even he's gonna be a very little baby which is good for me to hear because um, I don't want to have to push a big baby out um, and I was um, a bigger baby but Anthony was a smaller baby and they do say that um, you're more likely to have the size of baby that your mother-in-law had so Anthony's mom had tiny babies. Anthony and his brother were both like around seven pounds. So um, I should have small babies as well. So baby's probably gonna be around seven pounds. I'm happy about that. She did do a cervix check and I was shocked. Um, she said I am one centimeter dilated and 80% effaced, which is crazy because I was like I didn't even feel like baby dropped at all and she was like have you been feeling any like contractions any cramping and I'm like nope nothing <laughs> she also asked me if I uh, if she could sweep my membranes just a little bit and I was just like sure I really don't care so she did do that um, it was painful but it wasn't like oh my gosh it's the worst pain I've ever felt in my life uh, it was just uncomfortable it lasted like 10 seconds um, and so she said um, with how big of a change my body has gone through like last week she didn't even bother to do a cervix check because I was still baby was still so high up and she was like there's no point and then coming to this week I'm a centimeter dilated and 80% of face she was telling me that she does not think that I will make it to my due date of 40 weeks so that was just such a shock to hear um, because I you know, if you've been following my videos, you will know that I thought that I would go way past my due date, like a week to two weeks past my due date, just because this is my first baby, my mom went late, Anthony's mom went late with him, 
Um, and I just figured it was gonna happen. Then it changed to, oh, we might have to induce you at 39 weeks because of your blood pressure being high. And now it's, oh, I don't even think you're gonna make it to your due date because of how quick of a change your body is going through. So it's been throwing my emotions around. I'm already emotional to begin with. And now it's even throwing my emotions even crazier because it's like all of this, this answer just keeps changing and I don't know when baby's coming. And so it's just like, freaking me out just a little bit. But she does not think I will make it to 40 weeks. Um, I did set up an appointment on for f my next doctor's appointment, which will be right at 40 weeks. Um, but she told me, I don't think I'll see you. I don't think you'll come in at this appointment. I think I'll see you beforehand at the hospital. So um, I do these videos kind of later in my weeks. Right now I have two days, today's Monday, and I have my doctor's appointment on Wednesday for 40 weeks. So it has not happened yet. Um, she was telling me like, oh, you'll have bloody show, you'll have cramps. I've had absolutely nothing. I've had no blood, I've had no cramps, um, no nothing, no symptoms, no contractions. I feel perfectly normal, other than a little bit of nausea here and there, but I'm eating like crazy, so obviously it's not affecting me too much. So, um, I heard, I did hear that membrane sweeps are um, only effective if your body is ready to go into labor, and so apparently my body is not ready to go into labor, um, which is fine. I didn't really want to go into labor before 40 weeks. Um, my sister's been out of town, and it would have been hard on her if I would have had the baby. She would have been gone, and we just got done with Easter and April Fool's, and I did not want to have my baby on April Fool's. I wanted to get past the holiday. We had Anthony's parents come visit us. My parents came and visited us. I just wanted to get that holiday weekend out of the way and then I could focus on baby so um, Easter was yesterday we got the holidays out of the way my sister's coming back into town tonight so everything is ready now and baby can now really come at any time I would be happy with it it's fine now the only other date that I'm like trying to avoid is my brother's birthday is on April 9th so if I can avoid that day I'm going to try but then again this baby has a mind of his own and when he comes I can't really stop it I obviously I think my doctor wasn't very you know right on when I was gonna go into labor I do still have two days so I could go into labor today or tomorrow or Wednesday before my appointment um, but I don't think it's going to happen I'm feeling totally fine um, so we will see um, this might be my last you know bump date I might go into labor um, before I'm able to record a 40 week bump date um, but if I can, I would really like to make it to 40 weeks. Um, just to say like, yeah, I did it. I did the full pregnancy, the full 40 weeks, and now I can have this baby. So we will see, but as of right now, I am 39 weeks and still pregnant. <laughs> um, and we'll just kind of see what the future holds. So I think that's all for this week. Let me show you my 39 week bump. Okay, so here is my 39 week belly from the side with the shirt on and then with the shirt up and from the front and from the side. Okay guys, um, so this might be my last uh, bump date like I told you before or maybe not. Maybe I'll have a 40 week bump date for you. Stay tuned to figure out. My next video will either be a 40 week bump date or it will be um, baby. So stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss it. I cannot wait to see what he looks like and I know I'm sure... I'm sure all of you can't wait to know either. Um, I'm really hoping I have a blonde haired baby, um, but obviously looking at my hair, I have very dark hair, so we will see what he uh, comes out with. But definitely stay tuned, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.